You're talking about diploma mills and the most recent example of which is, I sounds like thousands of, of fake degrees in nursing, right? Emma, what, why is that particularly vulnerable to this? So the nursing industry uh, is particularly vulnerable to academic fraud for a couple of reasons. Uh, one being that there's such a huge nursing shortage in the United States right now that employers are just desperate to get people to work. They might not be vetting resumes as thoroughly as they should, and they could overlook some fraudulent credentials that way. Uh, so it's easy to get in to that field or relatively easy with a fraudulent degree. And at the same time, uh, nursing is also full of immigrants um, who are coming to the United States to work in nursing, maybe they worked as a nurse in the country they came from, and they need to get credentialed in the US. And because not everyone knows how to look for an accredited program and sort of dig through the weeds on that, uh, they could fall victim to an academic scam, or in this case, um, end up at a fraudulent institution. One of the things that's interesting, nursing, kind of like law, in addition to your degree, you have to actually pass state exams to be licensed mm -hmm. in a particular state. What are some of the idiosyncrasies in that system in the U.S. that you found that either make it ripe for exploitation or helps to protect against this? Yeah, so all nurses to work in the U.S., you have to pass the NCLEX exam. Uh, it just allows you to be licensed um, for to work as a nurse. And it's possible to pass that exam without necessarily having done any sort of on the job training. So you could study and know how to answer all of the questions. You could know theoretically how to put an IV in a patient's arm without having actually ever done that. So it does pose a risk to patients to have nurses coming in who are maybe um, completely book smart and know exactly what they're supposed to do, but who haven't actually had any hands-on experience uh, being a nurse and caring for patients. Um, it seems the Department of Justice, one of the cases that you mentioned in the article, there was a, um, these were nursing homes, assisted living facilities, home care. Is that really where this is most rampant, not a hospital setting, but some of these other more secondary institutions? Yeah, I don't know if I could say that that's where it's most rampant. Um, that's the information that we have about the healthcare facilities where they have found some of these nurses to be working at, but there hasn't been a lot of public information uh, released on that. I did see um, that there was a hospital in Georgia that was implicated in the case. So there are some nurses at hospitals, uh, but by no means have we seen information about all um, 7,600 people who purchased these degrees. So they could be all over the place. Um, those were just a few of the locations where we, we knew they had been working. Have there been instances where we actually have seen patients' lives put at risk or where an, a nurse uh, turned out to be unlicensed? Um, I mean, I, I, I theor it's, it seems it's theoretical that uh, this would be a danger to patients. You can understand why. But have there been actual instances of this? So far, we haven't seen any documented instances of patient harm. Uh, we did talk to the VA where uh, quite a few of those nurses were discovered. Um, I think they said that they had pulled 89 nurses out of patient care after all of this came to light. But they're um, not they're fired. Being... They're still employed. They're not fired. Um, and that's because some of these nurses may have actually earned their degrees legitimately just through one of the institutions that was also offering fraudulent degrees. So investigations are still ongoing about whether or not the nurses did buy their degrees or actually met the criteria that they needed. Um, but the the VA did not discover any harm to patients in the meantime, uh, but obviously we don't know where all of these nurses work yet. So some of them very well could be a danger to patients, and that's why it was quite a scary discovery when 